Binge watch and learn on TRS Clips. Do you think that when you meditate and when you take up Kriya or right. when you just take up, you know, higher forms of meditation, it's like you're kind of accumulating some kind of points or washing away your past karmas, yes. which then allow you to have deeper access to the deities. Exactly. This is what Kriya is very important for you to wash. You cannot wa wash the past karmas. You can only wash your present karmas. So if somebody does Shraddha, why Shraddha is important is you are, you have a past life. You were born in some form in your previous life. So somebody related to you performs Shraddha today. You some, mean, you mean someone from your past life? Yes. Yes. The family you were born into then? Yes. Has a descendant who has performed a puja today? Yes. And you will get the benefits in this life. Exactly. That is the science behind Shraddha. Why Shraddha is important is because of this. Because somebody doing Shraddha today to your past life will correct the misdeeds of your past life and give blessings in your today's present lives. Shraddha is a puja done during Shraddha? Yes. Shraddha is uh, every year Shraddha happens praying that soul. Okay, wait, we'll have to slow down a little bit. I understand what you're saying, but I just want to keep the listeners with us. Uh, there is a phase every year called Shraddha, where in Sanatani tradition, you are supposed to pray for your ancestors. Correct. The ones who have passed away. Right. Now, also according to Sanatani tradition, when someone passes away, they spend some time in other realms. And then usually come back or take a birth again. Correct. Maybe they're born in a family which is different. Right. You don't know where they are. Right. But when you pray for their souls hmm. during Shraddh, they're benefiting in this life. So exactly. that same soul which was your great-grandfather, your great-great-grandfather who hmm. you may have even met right. is now some child somewhere yes. who's having some possibly spiritual right. experience or his life is becoming easier because you are praying for him or her. Exactly. This is the science that we follow. Okay. I did something called Nagabali and um, Narayan Bali this year, right after my 30th birthday. They say that when you perform this kind of a puja with faith, um, certain karmas get lifted off your ancestors. They say nine generations of right. your ancestors right. get benefited. Right. Uh, when they talk about Pitru Dosh, which right. is your male lineage having some kind of flaw. So maybe someone has committed a sin, someone has um, committed a suicide or yeah. had a bad death. Unnatural death. Uh, accident, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Their soul is going through a lot in other realms. But right. if you as the descendant break that generational curse right. through right. these slightly higher level pujas, right. uh, you, not only are you relieving yourself, but you're relieving your pitrus also. Who have probably also taken a birth somewhere else right. already. right. Uh, so I personally feel one, this puja is not in every person's life or their destiny, but if you do it, a lot will change. Have you gone through a Nagabali or, um, uh, Narayan Bali or anything like that? No. No. Okay. But in, in Tulu culture, is it there? Yes, it is there. It is there. And they tell people to do it. Yes. yes. But not everyone. Not everyone. Why? If, if a person is suffering from, uh, Kala Sarpa Dosha, or suffering from Nagadosha, that is when uh, astrologers or Brahmin priests will tell people to do conduct Nagabali. So basically in your astrological chart, if your astrologer is good enough, they can notice that you have a dosha, which is for lack of a better word, a problem in your chart. Correct. And in order to correct that astrological problem, sometimes they'll recommend that you do it. Yes. Which is what happened with me. Like an advanced astrologer saw it and said that, listen, go do these things. Correct. Correct. I felt the difference. Yes. Again, it's for believers to believe and non-believers to reject. So TRS Clips has all sorts of videos and all sorts of playlists. Make sure you explore the channel by subscribing and heading to our homepage and reading through all the playlists.